Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today we are making a quarantine order. This comes from Matt Pietrix, or otherwise known as the Cocktail Wonks, um, Middlemas Tiki Cocktail Book. I only recently bought this. I haven't had a, a lot of time to, to flick through it, and, but it, it looks like an awesome book. There's a lot of detailed uh, recipes, heaps of awesome tiki recipes, uh, lots of beautiful photos as well that uh, inspire you to, to mix some of these drinks. Uh, this was originally created by William Presswood from The Pagan Idol in San Francisco. So I'll leave a link to um, this book. This is not sponsored, but this is a fantastic book. So if you're into Tiki, if you've got a copy of Smuggler's Cove, then this should be your second book. Um, it's, yeah, although I haven't read into it a lot, it looks amazing. There's some wicked cocktails, beautiful photos. It's a good book, get into it. Okay, onto the drink itself. So this one's served up in a brandy balloon or a brandy snifter, whatever you like to call it. And it calls for a, a split rum base. Uh, it calls for Jamaican signature, sorry, Jamaican signature, um, Appleton Estate signature, and also rum bar gold, but I'm substituting in for Smith & Cross. So it calls for 45 mil or 1.5 ounces of each. So I'm gonna get straight into it. And it calls for a lot of classic uh, Don the Beachcomber ingredients. So it's got grapefruit juice, cinnamon syrup. But first of all, the Jamaican rum. Well, they're both Jamaican. We've got Appleton. Signature. Smith & Cross, if you want to stick to the original. Rum Bar Gold. So 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of each, and 30 mil, one ounce of grapefruit juice. I'm using Ruby Road grapefruit juice, but I'm assuming the original is white grapefruit, but these are easily available. And we use them in our threefold aromatic gin, so therefore I've always got grapefruit on hand. Then 30 mil of fresh lime juice. And then we've got two sweet components, cinnamon syrup, 15 mil, half an ounce, and likewise for passion fruit syrup. So this is just literally two seconds before the video, I just mixed in simple syrup with a fresh passion fruit. You could strain the seeds out, but I think it kind of adds to the drink. So 15 mil, half ounce. So this has got crushed ice and five dashes of Angostura bitters. Oh, five and a half. It's all gone to shit. The recipe says five, I've ruined it. And then give it a quick shake. and then pour the contents of the shaker. Oh, come close. I'm gonna to top this up. With tiki cocktails, I love just the packing heaps of crushed ice, keeps it really nice and cold. Some people always ask, wonder why you put so much ice in and they think that it's gonna add extra dilution, but by having heaps of ice, it's gonna keep it really cold and prevent the extra dilution from happening. So garnish, mince brig, a lime wheel. Thanks, Aiden. 
and a maraschino cherry. And it's got crushed ice, so I always like to serve it with a straw. Damn. I don't want to touch it. It looks looks awesome. Let's take a photo first. That was perfect. They have a quarantine order. Cheers. That's the only problem with using um, fresh passion fruit with the seeds. They do jam up the straw a little bit. Uh, the first thing that just comes into play is the Smith & Cross, that overripe banana, Jamaican, funky rum. For those that aren't familiar with rums or aren't big drinkers, like sometimes those kind of descriptions could turn you off, but it, it is, it's, it's a good flavor. That's a good thing, it's a positive thing. There's a lot of rum in that. 90 mils, it's potent, it's strong. This sits at 60, 57%. Um, it's very uh, complex tiki cocktail. There's a lot of ingredients in there. Very vibrant, um, quite citrusy, a bit, a little bit acidic from the, the combination of the grapefruit juice and the, and the fresh lime. So apparently William Presswood was trying to highlight the, the cinnamon notes from Angostura bitters with this cocktail. Um, has he succeeded at that? I think it, it plays a part, but it's not prominent. It's not a strong dominating uh, flavor in this cocktail. It's delicious, but if you didn't know the cinnamon was in there, you, you might not pick it. It's intense. It's lovely. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for some more tiki cocktails. Cheers.